Hi, welcome to Lending Your Ear. I'm Richard Parker. Today I'd like to talk about closing costs and who's actually responsible for paying for those. First off, what are closing costs? Closing costs are uh, any fee that can come up during the loan origination process uh, outside of the actual down payment. Um, examples of that could be your title and attorney fees, um, anything to do with like your escrows such as taxes, um, insurance, mortgage insurance, and so forth. So who's responsible for paying those? Always assume that you as the buyer are going to be responsible for paying those first off. Uh, whether it's through paying it out of your pocket uh, at closing or using your interest rate to adjust that for credit towards your closing cost at the end. We'll talk a little bit about that here in just a second, but you could also ask for your seller to pay for a portion or all of your closing cost. During the negotiation process, you're going to talk to your realtor. Your realtor is going to come up with the best plan of action for you uh, that works for you and your offer. And you're going to present that to the other seller um, or the other agent, the seller's representative, and they're going to take that back to the seller and discuss if they like the terms or if they're going to counter back with different terms. So say they decide to take it all, uh, then of course at that point the seller would pay uh, 100% or whatever portion of the closing cost that you decided between the two of you, you would pay or they would pay. So say they decide to only pay 50% of it. Well at that point you would be responsible for paying the other half of the closing costs uh, on top of your down payment. So just make sure that you've kind of got the idea that you know you could possibly be responsible for paying for the full amount of the closing cost out of your pocket and negotiate uh, whether or not those sellers are going to pay any of that portion uh, for you. Now, as I said before, you can also use your rate to kind of help pay for some of your closing costs. And how you do that is say you're getting X rate and you, you know you're you're cool with that, but there's another rate out there that's a little higher that may be able to, that you're still okay with paying. Like you already had it in your head that you could possibly get a rate of a different amount. Well, you can take that difference and your lender can kind of see exactly how much of a credit you're gonna get uh, based on the rates that you decide to go for. So check with your lender um, to see if there's any options out there for you or what your options are for you to be able to help you pay for those closing costs. Always try to save your money up front in efforts to pay for all of your closing costs if you were needed to, um, but don't be afraid to ask for closing costs to be paid for by the seller um, out of the, you know, out of the sale of their home. So check with your lender, check with your realtor, make sure you come up with the best plan that works for you and the house that you're actually looking to purchase and negotiate that out. Talk to the, um, have your uh, realtors, you know, negotiate it out for you and make that work best for you. So if you guys uh, have any questions, always feel free to give me a call, 205-863-5231. Don't forget, you can find me on Facebook, Richard Parker Mortgage Consultant. Uh, please like and share this video. If you know anybody looking to purchase a home, maybe this can help them out. All right, until next time, talk to you later. Mm -hmm.